we back. Now, today's video, we added six new teams to the NBA. And the new part is what's exciting. Because in previous 2Ks, the most you can add of new teams were three. You can add six expansion teams, but three of them will have to be like those auto-generated expansion teams that are lame, lame jerseys, lame team names, lame logos. Well, now we can add six new, which means that six people from the community, the 2K community, created these jerseys, these logos. And I picked the ones that I thought were the most fire. So shout out to for 2K for doing a little bit, the smallest a bit, for the My League community and allowing us to add as many new expansion teams as possible. So let me introduce y'all to the six teams we got. We have the St. Louis Bombers. Now I don't know where these logos are from, but this one 100% fire. Then we have the San Diego Fleet. Another fire logo. We got the Force. I don't remember what the Force are from. We'll figure that out a little bit later, but the force is maybe a bit too zoomed in. Same thing with the fleet, but I digress. And then we have the Huskies, and I'm pretty sure the Huskies are from Vancouver, so Vancouver gets a team again. The Jays, I, I don't remember what I'm from. We're going to remember where teams are from. Now, what we're doing in today's video, we're just adding these new expansion teams. I will not end this video until one of these new teams wins a championship. It could take 10 years. I got time, though. I got time to record this video. Be sure to leave it a like, by the way. So we have a few more new expansion teams. The Outlaw. I think Outlaws are from Las Vegas. So Vegas gets a basketball team other than the WNBA team Aces. And then one more, I think, is that. Oh, wait. That's all six? Now, I'm going to take control of a team. But I don't want to be making trades, making signings, or anything like that. I want to sit back and basically be a passenger alone the time. Let them decide what's a good signing or not. So... Which one of these logos do I like the most? I gotta go St. Louis. Because if you've been around the channel for a long time, you know that I got this kind of special connection with St. Louis. If you know, comment it down below. So St. Louis Bombers, here I am. But we're putting everything on automatic. So personally, I won't have any control. Now for y'all that are gonna try this at home, I have to say it is very important that you know this. When you add six new expansion teams, the simulation time is even longer. So I gotta tell you, if you wanna do this experiment, you wanna have fun like this, just know you're gonna be sitting on your butt for a long time trying to just get through the first season. So let's see who's in the draft. I just wanna see who's there. The first pick was Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard's there, Steven Adams, Otto Porter, not my boy, Automatic Porter. Um, so there's some good players out here, but no like star pleasures is pretty cool. I think in last two Ks, you would see like Mike Conley, you would see players like that. But here, you know, you got good players, not necessarily super great players. DeJounte Murray's really good at 23 years old. So there's some youngest, Malik Beasley at 22. So teams, you can only protect so many. Whoever ends up with Bo Bo will be the team to win the championship first. I'm, that is 100% facts. Bo Bo's complete stud. And most of that is due to the fact that this dude's shot Tennessee is like none other. He will not pass the ball. Every shot he sees, he will take. So whoever ends up with him are probably going to win the championship first. But again, I'm going to sim the whole draft because I don't want any control of this team. But we have to see who ended up where. So the St. Louis Bombers ends up with Steven Adams, Evan Fournier, Andre Roberson, Jaleel Okafor, Rajon Rondo, Wilson Chandler. This team, uh, not that great, but it is an expansion team. You feel me? So, oh, Daniel Gaffer, my boy. <laughs> yes, he is my boy. Once you become a bull, you automatically are my boy until you make me mad and then we get rid of you. So, the San Diego Fleet have Otto Porter, Malik Beasley. This team is pretty decent. This team is my early contender. The way this is worked, see, I've done this experiment a few times in previous 2Ks. There's always one team that makes the playoffs the first year. This team is definitely the candidate. I'll say that much. Virginia Force. They got some vets, and I mean vets. 33, 30, 30, 31, 29, going on 30, 34. So they was like, you know what? We're not going to draft some youngins. We need guys that will come out there and help us now. Tyson Chandler, oh, this dirt going into what year? Like 18, 19. Shout out to Tyson Chandler. Anthony Simons is on the team. All right. And what else teams are out there? Vancouver Huskies have Goran Dragic and DeJounte Murray as their guards. They got Iggy. Tim Hardaway Jr. Oh, they st oh they decided to put together some defense with Dejounte Murray, Iggy, Michael Kidd, Gil, Chris West, Matthews, Ro uh, Rob Williams. They definitely went defensive here. De De um, DeAndre Bivry is a good defender. They went defense, but I still ain't seen Bo Bo. Jacksonville Jays picked up Michael Porter Jr. That is a dub because I've seen him in year two, year three. He is a stud. Zach Collins up there for them. 
Did nobody draft Bo Bo? Did everybody miss the prime opportunity to have a star? Oh my God, Bo Bo went undrafted, which means that he should still be in Denver, and he is. Oh my God, they don't realize. They don't realize the mistake they made. They don't realize it. Season one is over. Giannis won MVP. Anybody on a new team winning an award? TJ McConnell wins most improved. There is somebody. So he plays for, I don't even know, St. Louis Bombers. I think this is our team, right? Yeah. Shout out to TJ. So I guess he's our starting point guard. He shot less from the field as far as percentage goals, more turnovers. But I mean, you can't be mad at him. You cannot be mad at him. Doc Rivers wins coach of the year. I'm guessing nobody from a new expansion team makes an All-NBA team. Now, that would be surprising for year number one. And let's see. Anybody make the playoff? St. Louis made the playoffs. Virginia made the playoffs. And Jacksonville. I told y'all, bro, something about these expansion teams where they just come out and they come to the league and they just ball, ball, ball. Ball hard. Like the one expansion team in the NHL. See, I don't watch much hockey, but I know an expansion team made it to the finals in the first year a couple years ago. What was that last year? Regardless. So the St. Louis Bombers goes 43 and 39. TJ McConnell as like the guy. Nine points per game. 18 for Evan Fournier. Come Jelly. I remember. I'll learn his name eventually. Stephen Adams had a good season. Jaleel Okafor off the bench had a good season. All right. I respect this team, man. I respect this team. Javon Carter averages seven. Dope there, all right, but the rest of the expansion teams, the worst team in the league was OKC Thunder, so all of the expansion teams out west, you know, weren't terrible. Out east, we had a few, so Virginia went almost 50 games. Jeff Teague, Cal Corver being elite from three, Mario Hizonia, Marcus Morris, and Dwight Howard? I mean, they picked up Serge Ibaka, so Serge Ibaka plays the defense. Was this the team? This is the super old team. They said they're going with the veterans. They're going with leadership. And look where they got them. Shout out to them. They made it work out. Then also Jacksonville, Yogi Ferrell, Josh Hart, Michael Porter Jr. I knew it. I knew he had a big season. There's no way this team made the playoffs without Michael Porter Jr. having a great season. And then the worst team in the East, Miami Heat. They just can never find their way in 2K. As you can see, the New Orleans Pelicans are in the East. So when you add expansive things, things get kind of wonky. But this is just a random video, so it don't matter too much. So let's see if any of them make it out of the first round. I doubt it because Jacksonville's going against Brooklyn. Toronto's going to Virginia. And then we're going against the Clippers. And I mean we're because I'm not actually, you know, controlling the team and all. But Virginia gets out of the first round. Virginia is our hope. If they win a championship, we're in the video. <laughs> Whenever an expansion team was a championship, the video is over. So, y'all better hope Virginia I mean, you will know. Just look at how much time is left in the video, and you'll know that nobody won a championship this year. But, you know, making it into the second round in your first year of experience is pretty dope stuff. Philadelphia going against the Houston Rockets. Let's see how this pans out. And 3-2 in the 70, 76ers win the championship in six. Now let's get very interesting because we're living in the fantasy world. I'm not going to load in the draft class. I want to see the generated rookies. So draft lottery, here we come. Let's see if anybody jumps up. They fall. The Bulls have the best odds, which is sad for me because I want to see my Bulls be successful. The Outlaws jumped all the way up. They were around the 8-9 range. They jump up to the top three. So we got one of the expansion teams getting the top three pick there. A lot of trading went on. You know, you see the via blank, via blank. So a lot of trades went on in the league. None of them have to do with me, though. <laughs> so let's look at this draft class again. Didn't load in anything. There is a 19-year-old center with an A- minus overall. He averaged 25, 14, and four blocks in college. He can shoot the three. He can score inside. He rebounds subpar. Subpower rebounder. Athleticism is a little bit above average. But that guy from Cincy... It's going to be nice. He's going to be nice. So, let's see how nice. So, I'm just going to simulate the entire draft. And let's see how things went. He fell to number two. The Knicks did not take the 82 overall rookie. They take Stephon Morris out of Mississippi State. Another power four going to the Knicks instead of this center. I mean, they already got center. They already got a center, Mitchell Robinson. So, I guess it makes sense. But the Outlaws... 
could have made a big time splash right here adding this center so let's go to the free agency now the 2020 free agency class is nothing incredible but you never know some of these guys can you know maybe make a big impact on an expansive team we got to see if an expansive team does sign one of these new guys that are in free agency so i'm gonna simulate like eight or nine days into free agency we'll stop it right here at eight see who signed where anthony davis stays with the lakers but the jays pick up demar DeRozan. so demar DeRozan is going to jacksonville that's what their name is the jacksonville jays so florida's got more team, another team and he is going to florida i don't remember who his, who his teammates are or anything but uh he's going to florida the bomber Oh, they already have Paul Millsap. He played for them last year. No, he played in Las Vegas last year. And then now he's coming to St. Louis. So that's an upgrade for them. The Huskies pick up Marcus. So the Bombers also pick up and there's cancer. So teams are making big time moves. I'll take a look at their, their final rosters right now. Outlaws new center is now their best player. But, you know, I'm guessing DeJounte Murray is going to get better. That center may win a championship for them i'm being completely honest not this year but two three years down the line when he's developing he may win them a championship the jays look good though wow with demar fred van vliet joe harris is now on the team so they have some money and they spent that money and this team might be a playoff team the huskies tried to do the best they could they pick up marcus saul coming to the team but i'm uh, not too confident with that so these are the teams nothing crazy but we do have some big time free agents coming this off season i don't know if Kawhi is going to resign with the clips or paul george will resign with the clips but they will potentially both be free agents uh oh my gut is telling me to test for ac this summer there it is paul george i'll likely resign so paul george may be a free agent for one of the new expansion teams potentially or he could go to one of the original 30 teams we don't really know but we'll find out in a little bit season two is over this team won 42 games. Anthony Davis won MVP. That rookie center. That dude's a beast, man. Average 15, 7.5, 4.5 assists. He did his thing out there. Kind of sexy, six man of the year. Kawhi defense player. Their most improved went to Zubak. Burr Brown was coach of the year. Any expansive team make it this year? Jacksonville is the only one. All right. So let's see what things are wrong because we had three last year. So real big step back and let's see so the bombers won 42 games it just wasn't enough this year this year you had to win 44 games to make the playoffs and then sometimes 44 wasn't enough we had three teams of 44 and the warriors lost five in the row that is a terrible way to end your season to miss the playoffs but the bombers they tried their best the worst team was the okc thunder 25 games again like they could not get out of this little purgatory they going they got going on but they keep getting high draft picks. Fifth overall pick last year. They're going to have another lottery pick this year. Out East, the Force won 10 games. Wow. Wasn't this the team that was in the second round last year? They dropped all the way to 10 wins on the season. Nigel William Goss, Goss is their starting point guard. So that's not a good thing. Yeah, I understand why this team, they lost a lot of pieces here. Jaleel Okafor is their starting center. Last year, he was coming off their bench, and he had better um, better stats then. This team really took one of the biggest declines ever. So, Jacksonville made it. Fred Van Vliet and them. Oh, this is the team that has DeMar DeRosa. He had a great season, 50% uh, from the field, 24 points per game. But in the first round, they're going against the 76ers, who's the defending champion. So, I doubt they're getting out of the first round, but miracles sometimes happen. They're already down 2-0. 3-0 and oh they take a game they got some fight and then that was it all right we'll just see who wins the championship and it happens to be the brooklyn nets Kyrie puts up crazy numbers in the finals and now we're going into the offseason now again this fancy class has some of the most elite players in the league so we'll see if one of those elite players or two of those elite players or maybe more of those elite players end up on one of the expansion teams or they re-sign or do something else. Draft lottery, here we come. That 10-win team, they better hope they win it all. And they don't. They drop down to fourth. But three out of the top four picks end up being expansion teams. This can turn around some franchises if this is a good draft class. Again, I don't really know. So let's actually take a look at it. A B-plus is the best prospect. And that is Gus Goodwin, another center this year. Going to be drafted first overall. Or maybe, maybe second. 
He's got a crazy wingspan, a 7'9 wingspan, 7'2 height. He can shoot. This guy's basically a reincarnation of the dude from last year. And they do, they do the same thing. The first overall pick, they pass up on a really elite center, but they get a small four who's a sharpshooter. So I guess that's fine. I mean, maybe that fits their team need. I don't really know. But this guy just looked amazing. Yeah, this guy looks amazing. But he's going to the Huskies of Vancouver. So he's going up to Canada. But we're really here for free agency. Free agency is the turning point in this entire video, honestly. So we're going to simulate a couple days to free agency. I don't know who resigned or who didn't. But we will find out in due time. All right, that's enough time. Six days in. LaMarcus is still a free agent, but he's got 19 offers. One of them or two of them, the top two, being from new teams. All right. They may splash. Kawhi went to the Lakers. LeBron went to the Bulls. On a one-year, $41 million deal. <laughs> he said he got to chase MJ. Wow. I've never been so happy. The Bombers... I'm sorry. Just so much is going on here. Okay. Kawhi Leonard said the Clippers were cool, but I need to go to the other part and go to the Lakers because LeBron is gone. He went to Chicago. Paul George goes to the Bombers of St. Louis, which is us. <laughs> um, Rudy Gobert goes to the Hornets. Everybody's changing teams here. Mike Conley goes to the Spurs. Victor Depot goes to the Jazz. To be with Donovan Mitchell, but they don't have Rudy Gobert anymore. Okay, so maybe that's not great. The Lakers also get Bradley Beal. So the Lakers bring in Kawhi and Bradley Beal. That is pretty tough. And Anthony Davis resigned. So they have Anthony Davis, Bradley Beal, and Kawhi. They lost LeBron, but they put together a pretty decent big three, if you ask me. Blake is going back to the Clippers. Okay, wow. Just so much is going on here. I'm sorry. I've never had something this crazy go on. So what else, is, what else did we miss? Laurie Mar oh. Larry Marketing? They had to give up on Laurie to bring in LeBron. <laughs> it's a sad day as a Bulls fan because I love this man. I love this man. Kuzma goes to the Pistons, so they had to give up on Kuzma to get their big three. The Pelicans pick up Steven Adams. Bam goes to the Clippers. What's going on? Literally everybody is switching teams. RJ this, this has to be a glitch. RJ is on his rookie contract, and he's ended up on the Outlaws. This is a big t Oh, the Outlaws got Bo Bo, too. The Outlaws are about to go crazy. I can't believe everything that has changed in this league. 1,000% like a glitch or something? Or a 2K just didn't think this far or something? But, like, everybody switched teams. The only guys that stayed on their teams was Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum. Everybody else is somewhere else. This year is about to be crazy. Could it be an expansive team to win a championship? It definitely could. All right, so it's going to be hard to keep up with everything that's going on in the league. So let's just go by power rankings. Number one is the Memphis Grizzlies with Ja, JJ, Gordon Hayward, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valanciunas. I don't know how that's number one. I just want to see the new expansion teams... Just, let's try to predict which team makes the playoffs. How about that? This team is making the playoffs. With, with Paul George. Oh, actually, the rest of the team is maybe not amazing. But we got Paul George. We have we have Paul George. So that's, that might be good enough. LeBron, Zach Levine, Wendell Carter, Kobe White, Herbert Davidson, whoever that is. The Bulls may end up winning the championship. The Fleet are still not that not good. They're really not good. The Force pick up Derek White and LaMarcus Aldridge. Josh Jackson, this team's not that good either. Vancouver, not that good. This Jacksonville Jays team might be the team to make the play. When is a team go? Oh, this is the team that might take that jump. Oh my God. This team has Markel too. So that center that we talked about, RJ, DeJounte, Bo Bo, and Markel Fultz. Wow, this team might be the team to do it. With Bo Bo being like a six man, they could run out like this crazy tall lineup of Bo Bo and Sheldon Johnston. 
and just destroy everything because they both can shoot. They both pr protect the paint. You know what I'm about to do? Actually, I'm not going to do that. I was going to say I'm going to take control of the team so I can watch their season, but I don't want to give out any ideas that it's being rigged. So let's just simulate to the end of the season and see what happens. All right, season three. Is this season three? It's over with Giannis won MVP. Gus won Rookie of the Year. Bo Bo won Sixth Man of the Year. If he put up those numbers off that bench, that St. Louis team made the playoffs. Bro. I'm sorry. They had to make the playoffs if he put up those type of numbers. But they do have to go against that crazy powerhouse team in L.A. They were the one seed. Okay, and that Lakers team was the seventh seed. I thought they were about to be a powerhouse. All right, this might be the year, y'all. No team out east. No team out east did it. But that Las Vegas team may have done it. Now, I want to jump the gun. But they finished with 57 total wins. DeJounte Murray. Oh, my God. This team just looks nice. RJ put up 22 in his new city. Bobo put up 21 off the bench. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. Now, there was another team. St. Louis Bombers, the Paul George team, also made the playoffs. They got Blake Griffin. They traded for Blake Griffin. See, I don't control this team. They made a trade for Blake Griffin without my knowledge. So that Blake Griffin and Paul George together. So, yeah, that's a duo that would definitely make the playoffs. And then Vancouver barely missed it. The, Cl the Clippers, yeah, the Clippers fell hard, man. They just signed Blake and then traded him away. All right, and then the Force are still pretty, pretty bad here. Let's see if Vegas can be the first expansion team to win a championship in just year three. They're already down, though. They're already down to Portland because Portland got some fight. They still got Dame. They still got CJ as far as I know. So they're still a good team. 2-2 two -two series their way. 3-2 Vegas. The Bombers get eliminated, so we will not see the two expansion teams go against each other in the playoffs. But Las Vegas get out of that round to go against Memphis. Conference finals for Vegas. Oh, my God. They're going against the Houston Rockets. Can they get out of the conference finals? One more game, and they're in the finals to go against these 76ers. This could be it. Oh, my God. Ah, they lost in seven. They lost in seven. Oh, my God. I thought it was it. They were down 3-1. They won two in a row, and they lost in seven. That's heartbreaking if you're a, you're a Las Vegas fan. It's heartbreaking if you're a Las Vegas fan. But you know what? All of those guys are still super young. They are super, super young. So next year could be y'all year. I said forget the NBA draft. I need one of the expensive teams to win. Because uh, the simulation is so long that I feel like I've been here for two hours. I can tell you I've been here for... Oh! It's been an hour and 48 minutes. So it feels good. Yeah, it's right that I feel like two hours. Because it basically is two hours. All right, but free agency is here. I don't know who free agents were in this draft class, but we're going to simulate. Maybe it'll be the same thing as last year where, like, everybody switched their teams. So we'll simulate a few days to free agency and figure that out. But please expect to team win a championship next year. I'm, I'm hoping that Vegas does it. Vegas was one game. They were one game away for ending this video. A brother could get some sleep, too. All right, let's see who changed teams. Mo Bamba's out there. A lot of these rookie players are not re-signing, man. Kevin Durant goes to the Clippers. Okay. LeBron goes to the Nets. He just switches teams every year. That's what LeBron do. The Flea get Kyrie, though. The Flea get Kyrie. They lock him up. He averaged 33 last year. 50-40-90 club on 33, with 33 points. Um. Any other of these expansive teams? The Fleet also get use of Nurkic. So the Fleet got Kyrie use of Nurkic. They got... These two young small forwards that is young is on their team, Maxi Kleba. This could be a team that contends as well. So I'm happy that another ex star went to an expansion team because that means the chances of us in this video go up higher. Y'all know I love making videos. Y'all know I love it. But when it's 4 a.m. and the brother is a bit sleep deprived, I'm looking to end the video. <laughs> but all right, I'll see y'all at the end of this fourth year or maybe it's fifth year. I'm losing track really. But maybe this is the year of the expansion team. All right, so Giannis is just like the most dominant player in NBA history. Because how many MVPs is that? Let's uh, let's that's a four count. Yep, that's a four count for Giannis MVP. Rookie of the year, D'Angelo Russell. I mean, not D'Angelo Russell. We get six man of the year, D'Angelo Russell. Most approved to Keon Wall from Virginia. Maybe Virginia took that step. They were like ten wins last season. So maybe this year they got more than ten wins. Let's see. 
Um, nope. Uh, well, maybe they got more. But we got four exp Oh my god, this is an all-time high of chances of me ending this video with four expansion teams making the playoffs. So let's look and see. So the Outlaws, again, we know that they were going to make the playoffs with Bowl Bowl and Sheldon Johnston um, being on the same team, just playing well. Sheldon Johnson put up good numbers. Who else did they have last year that I'm I'm drawing a blank on? Oh, yeah, yeah, RJ. He had put up 25 a game this season. All right, RJ. The Fleet, they brought in Kyrie and just was very good, even with Brandon Knight being their starting shooting guard. So good for them. They got these young guys playing well. Uh, Vancouver, Colin Sexton is there. With Otto, well, how did they get Colin Sexton? He averaged 25, though. Um, Otto Porter, Gus Goodwin, who's in year number two. He playing very well. And then the Bombers, of course, still have Paul George and Blake, even though Paul George only averaged 16 last season. That's a bit disappointing. And the Kings are the worst team, and the Force were still the worst team. Oh, my God. Keon Wall had an MIP year, and y'all still couldn't win more games? All right, let's see. Please, just one of y'all win a championship. Philly's a two seed over there. Let's hope Philly gets eliminated before they make it to the finals. Because if Philly's in the finals, you, you, you can expect the L. That's just the way it works in 2K. You can expect the L. So one expansion team, two expansion teams, three out of the four advance. Because obviously four out of four can't because two of them are going against each other. Two of them are going against each other again. Las Vegas, they're trying to make it happen again. Trying to make that finals run. Oh my God! Please just win! Oh my God! Las oh my God! Las Vegas, don't lose! They're down 3-0. I can't do it. I can't do it. You guys are choke artists.